Hey everybody, Dano here from Everyday's Turkey Day. And real quick, I thought I'd just make um, a comic book haul video from the comics I've picked up in about the past three weeks. I think maybe it's even been a month. Um, this is the oldest comic I have in this haul video, um, which came out in April and today's May 19th. So, yeah, I guess it's been about a month. But anyways, to kick it off, Action Comics number 1000, uh, the George Perez variant cover, which is a Summit Comics exclusive, uh, one of 2,500. Um, I really like the issue, um, and I think they did a really good job for the, four, the first North American comic to hit 1,000 issues. So, first one, there's that. Uh, next, this just came out this week, uh, Superman Special number one, Escape from Dinosaur Island. Uh, there's three stories in this. Um, Escape from Dinosaur Island is the longest one, and it's the last one of Tomasi's run on the Superman character. So Superman and his son John go back to Dinosaur Island to pretty much help out a Navy veteran, or maybe he's in the Army, but, you know, some sort of old-timey veteran guy who helped them escape Dinosaur Island first and get back to their own time, so they kept a promise and went back and then, you know, brought him from Dinosaur Island into our time now. So it's pretty good. And then there's two other stories, uh, both of which are very, very similar to what could have been in Action Comics 1000, which is just kind of, you know, six to ten page Superman story self-contained. But uh, overall, yeah, for a special, this was good. And, you know, I'm sad to see Tomasi go. Hopefully Bendis will do a decent job, but, you know, who knows. So next, uh, No Justice number two. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, I wanted to pick up No Justice number one as well. But uh, at my comic book shop, I don't have a pull list yet, uh, just because, you know, I, I can't really commit just because there's a lot of stuff going on in my life. But anyways, it's a smaller comic book shop, so pretty much if, you know, you don't have a pull list and you go in there, you know, it's kind of, I don't know, luck sometimes if you get uh, some of these titles just because they order only a few copies. But, you know, no justice, it's pretty big titles, so I'm sure I can find it somewhere. I, I'm talking about the first one. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, I like it, so moving on. New Challengers, which is a, you know, sort of reboot, I guess, on the Challengers of Doom. Got the new team here, you know, it's pretty much setting it up what the team's about and pretty much brings them all together. Um, it's from the New Age of Heroes, which this is actually the only one I've picked up from that line. I've heard good things about some of the other ones, but I saw this and I thought the cover was pretty kick-ass and people said good things about it, so I thought I'd check it out. And yeah, it's actually pretty decent. Um, uh, excited to see where it goes, as I've heard it's only going to be a six-issue miniseries. Uh, next, of course, we got DC Nation, only 25 cents. Um, zero issue, and it's pretty much just a prelude to a whole bunch of events coming up. You know, you got uh, the prelude to No Justice. You got the Joker, which is pretty much the prelude to the Batman and Catman. Uh, <laughs> Catman. Batman and Catwoman wedding that's coming up in issue number 50. So that should be exciting. And then you got a prelude to Man of Steel. And actually, these were all pretty good, especially uh, the Joker story. I really like that. Um, and yeah, just for 25 cents, that's pretty good. Next, uh, Hunt for Wolverine, the Adamantium Agenda. You know, it's one of those four uh, four part series spinning out of Hunt for Wolverine, which is another comic that I wanted to pick up, but my comic book shop had sold out. But once again, it's a pretty big title, so I'm sure I'll be able to find it uh, somewhere at some point. But anyways, this uh, I picked it up. I was also about to get Weapon Lost, but then I decided I'm not really trying to get all uh, the Hunt for Wolverine tie-ins. But this concept sounded interesting, so I figured I'd just stick with it. And this first issue was really pretty good, so I think I'm going to continue to pick up uh, the next three and pretty much it's about Wolverine's time on the Avengers with his team you know you got Luke Cage, Iron Man, Jessica Jones and Spider-Man so really pretty cool uh, next you are Deadpool number three uh, you got Deadpool as like a gondola guy and you got a man thing uh, in the swamp and what uh, what you are Deadpool is is basically um, like a choose your own adventure story and it's actually really pretty cool you know I heard about the concept and then I saw it in the store so I figured I'd pick it up and yeah it's actually pretty great you know it's kinda contained in the single issue and you get a roll of dice to battle people and you know it has its own little plot line and yeah it's pretty cool and just fun next Venom number one this is sorta of like the soft what do you call it like a soft reboot or whatever um, where they put Donny Cates on the book and Ryan Stegman. And the cool thing is that Ryan Stegman is actually coming to a uh, convention um, 
sometime in the fall, like around where I'm living. So I'm going to try and see if I can bring this to that con and get him to sign it. But anyways, like the art in this book kicks ass. Um, the story is really cool. You know, they kind of bring in uh, mythology and lore to the symbiote. And yeah, it's just really good. I'd suggest pick, uh, blah, blah. I'd suggest picking this up. So there's that. Uh, Black Hammer, Age of Doom, number one. Uh, Jeff Lemire is a kick-ass writer. Um, I really like the art in this book, and this is a continuation of uh, the Black Hammer storyline. Um, I haven't actually read uh, any of the Black Hammer. I've heard about it. I'm trying to pick up the first two trades at some point, but I just saw this uh, on the shelf, so I was just like, man, fuck it, I'm, <laughs> I'm grabbing it. And uh, it was pretty good, you know. Um, you don't need to know all of the Black Hammer story to pretty much pick it up. But it does seem like it would help. But anyways, yeah, cool art. Jeff Lemire, man, can't go wrong. And then last, we got Jack the Lantern. And now this was pretty much just an uh, impulse buy off the cover. It's by uh, Castle Rain Entertainment, which I've never heard of before. But, you know, it's an indie comic book. Um, I saw the cover. You know, I saw skulls. I saw, you know, pumpkin head guy with an axe, more skulls, fire, skeleton hand. You know, I just thought it looked really fucking cool. So I was like, hey, man. You know, four bucks, whatever, I'll grab it. If I like it, you know, I can get into it more. Um, the actual story inside, I didn't <laughs> really like all that much, and the art kind of diminishes. But, you know, you always got to, you know, try new things, because you never know. Maybe it would have been, like, one of my favorite things. But, you know, you live and you learn, and it's still a pretty kick-ass cover, and I'm happy to have it in my collection. But, yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, what I've gotten over the past month. So, thank you for watching. Appreciate you, and I'll uh, see you next time. Peace.